know what time it is. It's your boy Aristotle, full throttle, already the raw. This shit hard. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all know what time it is. All right, so we gonna answer questions live. We live. We on YouTube and we on IG live. It's your boy Aristotle Investments. It's going down. I'm at the crib. Mama on the way, so it's lit. Go ahead and answer them questions. All right. I don't know what's going on. Let's get it. All right, let's see what IG, let's see what uh, YouTube Live got. Let's see what IG Live got first. All right, let's see. No questions yet. The questions will appear. Right, come on, don't start that. Let's get, we can't be doing that. Let me turn this Wi-Fi off real quick. All right, there we go. Turn that Wi-Fi off. All right, so let's see. What questions do you got? YouTube, y'all can answer questions too. Ask questions. Let's see what questions we got. All right, first question. How much can I borrow? All right, this is from IG. How much can he borrow? Zero. No handouts, my brother. All right. Let's go ask some more questions. How's the other property you bought doing? Uh, still working on it, getting the developers to cut down the trees, all that stuff like that. All right, we got a YouTube live question. How long did it take you to get profitable? Um, Maybe like, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about long-term investing, it was kind of instant. If we're talking about trading, it takes. it took me about a year and a half, really, about a year and a half. Um, let's see what else we got. We're gonna go we're gonna go back and forth. Let's see what we got, folks. How long does it truly take to learn how to trade? I mean, it depends on uh the way that you learn, you feel me? So that's all it really depends on. It depends on the way that you learn. So I learned from reading books and being around other like minded traders. So I always tell people you cannot learn trading without reading books, without learning from like-minded traders. A lot of people believe they can just watch one or two YouTube videos and that is it. And that is far from the case because you can't vet the YouTubers. Anybody can post a thumbnail in a video. That does not mean they're profitable. That does not mean they have a trading edge. So what happens is a lot of you get your information uh from YouTube or just a bunch of hope. A lot of you trade off hope and then you'll go bash trading saying, well, trading sucks. Trading isn't this and that, but you never took one mentorship. You never read one book. You never applied yourself at all. And I hate that about Americans, especially. We want everything handed to us and we don't want to work or study for a thing. People will say trading is hard, but ask them, did they read a book? They'll tell you no. Ask them, are they even around a profitable trader? They'll tell you no. Ask them, are have they ever took one mentorship? They'll tell you no. So I don't want to hear shit from anybody who never studied talking about trading isn't good or it's, or it's risky because you're a fucking idiot who did not apply themselves. And I guarantee the people who actually apply themselves will see results, period. All right. Let's, let's answer some questions from IG. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got, folks. I'm going to pick one. Can you make a YouTube video on your life uh, journey? Yes, I'm trying to. All I needed was a good videographer, which is hard to come by. I have millions of dollars been asking and asking for a videographer. And finally, I believe I found one who will not only do the work, but edit the work and not bullshit me. It's been a lot of bullshit going on, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I had one, which is my little brother, but he's uh, in North Carolina doing some things. But like I said, man, uh, I got another one. His name's RJ, so he gonna be uh, holding down. Uh, I am, you know, I am slow to hire, quick to fire. So that's just how we go. You know, we're trying another one. Until we get it right, I'm willing to pay the money. You feel me? But I already got one under contract who about to uh, get me going, finally. All right, let's see. 
how long it take to master investing. Um, it Like I said, it depends on the route you take. If you take the YouTube for free, no friends who are profitable route like everyone else takes, it's probably going to take about three to five years. If you actually have a mentor around profitable traders, it could take honestly about three months to six months to a year to a year and a half. It just depends on your level of discipline and understanding. Now, granted, like like I said, it can happen. Some people can become instantly profitable because they, and, it, and that's a rare occasion, don't get me wrong, but the whole 90% of traders fail, I want to explain to everybody what that means. If they say 90% of traders fail, that means that 10% actually win and that's actually a bigger number than going to the nba that's actually a bigger bigger number than going to the nfl that's actually a bigger number than your chances of getting into becoming a rapper so you got to think you have a 0.1 percent chance of becoming little wayne drake little baby and all of you niggas try that but or i won't say all of you niggas but just people all of you try to be Lil wayne drake and little and little baby but that is 0.1 percent of population that's three men you get what I'm saying? But how but 10% is a big number. That's a that's a huge number in my opinion versus 0.1% of being able to make it to the NFL, rap, ball, anything. All right? So I'll say that to say so you actually have better chances becoming a a great trader than not. 90% losing is actually I'll take my chances on 10%. 1% is insane though. All right, let's see. Let's see. Somebody said, I look just like Megan Fox. That's crazy. All right. What keeps you going when it seems like nothing is working? So this person asked me, what keeps me going when it seems like nothing is working? And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I actually do something that I don't really tell people I do. I have a note and I have a, a board. It's called what worked. OK, so whenever something worked like right now, I'm going live and I pin my comments and all of that. So that actually works. So that is actually on my board of what works. You get what I'm saying? So what you need to do is you need to have a board. Or a piece of paper of what didn't work and what worked. You know what does not work for me? Uh, paying celebrities or blogs for anything. That never worked. So that's on my do not work, don't ever do again sheet. You know what? what's on my what to do sheet? Go live. Wake up every day and invest. Work out. Um, what else? Uh, shit, I can put... Taking uh, edibles, that works for my stress. Uh, I have a whole book of what works for me. All my marketing plays are written down in my booklet, on my wall, and in my notepad. I have a what works booklet. So what you need to do, if you have a business or if you're trying to start something, you need to hurry up and keep doing what works. That's all I do. I just repeat what works, okay? And once it stops working, it goes to the do not work part of my of my uh, notes all right what made you choose stock options for trading versus futures forex and other types of trading because stock option trading is the is the one thing that i understood i could not understand forex back in the day mainly because it was that i mark is live recruit recruit bs and i really wanted to make money and actually own instead of recruitment. You get what I'm saying? So I took the, the route less travel before most people did, and most people are copying me now. But that's beyond the point. Uh, option trading was because I love companies, and I was serving the U.S. Army, so I wanted to invest in U.S. stocks. So that is the reason why I like stock options. It's, it's teaching me business, and I'm able to invest in companies that I actually understand, like Meta, like... Uh, when Twitter was on the stock market, when uh, I can understand companies, but I really don't understand that currency shit and really not trying to. And one thing uh, a wise man told me is go with what works. 
So a lot of people want to get their hands in everything, and that's not how you're supposed to do it. You really want to focus on one thing, master it, move on to the next. Focus on one thing, master it, move on to the next. So when I was in the Army, I was focused on barbering. Now I know how to barber. Boom. On to the next part. So it's like phases in life. And then I was doing IT before I did the Army. Uh, not the Army, but uh, while I was in the Army. So I, I specialize in like three things. I could do IT, meaning I can get up your systems. I can uh, troubleshoot your computer. I was doing shit like that. We was working on satellites in the Army. We were troubleshooting computers. I was an IT specialist. What else we was doing? I was actually deploying real satellites from scratch. I would have to put it together and literally deploy it and be able to pull pages and all of that. So I say all of that to say I understand uh, stocks just better than anything. And I go with what works for me. I made 300K in one account and I made another 300K in another account and I made another 300, well, my fault, a 250K. So I made about 800, I made 850K. I made 250 day trading. Um, and then I made uh, 300 option leaps and I made a little over 300K uh, long term. So I made close to a million last year investing. And that's just how I like to roll. We are ready to take this life changing experience with you. Then what you need to do is if you're on YouTube live, you need to go to the link in the description and come and uh, click on the link that says trial, sign up for the trial. And if you're on Instagram live, you need to comment the word uh, trial and I will DM you the link. Now, if you're on YouTube trial, I mean on YouTube live, you need to actually go into the description and look at the link. Let's look at some more questions. This woman said, my husband is ready so badly. He bought the mentorship program in February. Tell your husband we can't wait to teach him, and we guarantee that he's going to have the tools to be a profitable trader. And if you actually serious about your trading, comment the word mentor or DM me the word mentor on my IG. Let's look at some more questions. All right. Which is better, Forex or options? In my opinion, options. Let me tell you why. Because you're able to watch institutional buyers. You're able to see what the millionaires and billionaires are buying. You're also able to trade and understand companies. Like, you got to think, how many people are actually profitable in Forex? None of those guys. They're going to these bullshit brokers. Like, you. what's the name? That African girl. They'll, they'll go to bullshit brokers. And they'll fake their gains. And what they do is they get affiliate money from letting people sign up for their affiliates. So these forex people are not profitable. 99% of them are not profitable. I know lots of guys who are profitable in options. Options is far more better. And you'll make way more money doing this, in my opinion. You go to forex if you want to. You're going to lose your money. And those people are faking their gains. Good luck. Y'all know. Y'all already know who's doing it. All you got to do is look up such and such exposed on YouTube. You won't ever see somebody exposing Aristotle because I have facts. I have proof. And if they join my chat, they'll see that I actually call everything I'm talking about. Everything I do, I have facts and proof behind what I do. All right. How do we get the mentorship? Link in my bio. Link in my bio, visit honeydripnetwork.com, okay? Honeydripnetwork.com. Do you think we will get another big sell-off in the market? So what I want to remind you is that the trend is your friend. So you, you want to follow the trend you don't want to be the person who is trying to be a genius and hoping for a sell-off. So that is why I encourage people to invest early as they can to learn it. Now, I'm not the person to say trading is for everybody, but investing is for everybody for sure. Everybody on this live, everybody who's watching, it's about 600 people. It's 300 on YouTube live. It's 300 people on IG live. And what I want y'all to understand is that you know, 
I would recommend investing. Now, granted, you're a, a little bit too late. AMD is at all time kind of near highs. NVIDIA is at all time highs. Meta is approaching all time highs. Um, Apple is still somewhat of a good buy, especially if you would have bought it near the 200 in May about literally two days ago. Um, a lot of your favorite tech companies are kind of too high. So if I were you guys, I would I, right now is a good time to trade. It's never too late to trade, but it can be too late to kind of invest into the next dip. I personally wouldn't buy unless you're buying airline stocks like you get what I'm saying, like unless you're buying at some mobile CV at something, you know, uh, that's kind of low near 52 week low that's a profitable company you never want to buy high you always want to buy low so i'm letting all of you know i will wait for the net stock split the nets uh unless stocks unless the stock stock split and we have another um what you call a catastrophe like how COVID hit how the uh the inflation so it's going to happen it's going to happen within the nets what I'm going to give it maybe the next one and a half, two years. We're going to see another significant drop. Now, granted, it, there's definitely going to be another significant drop this year. Every year, there has to be somewhat of a correction. Now, granted, if you want to take advantage of that correction, be my guest. But make sure you're at least investing in stocks that you can afford that are under $200. Like Google, if Google makes a correction, buy Google. If uh, AMD somehow makes a correction by that, if Uber even makes a correction by that, Uber uh, so far is the stock that I have an eye on for my next long term position. Um, now, it's speculative. They haven't proven profitability for more than a year, but they have been profitable. They had their first profitable quarter, and I think they're going to have their first profitable year. I think 2023 was their first profitable year. So Uber has had a profitable year. Now, granted, can they sustain this? I have to do more research, but that is the one stock I'm waiting for the pullback to uh, enter a position on. The rest I have uh, positions on. You name it, I have a position in it. All right. Let's see. Who knows? Walgreens could be a stock you could buy. Is it a good time to buy AT&T? Um, from AT and T decreased their dividend. They were a dividend king. That is one company I'm actually disappointed in. My mother worked for AT and T. My father actually uh worked for AT. Not my father, but my grandfather. My grandfather retired from AT and T, but my grandfather actually worked at this company called Bell South. But AT and T bought Bell South, and they bought Singular. So AT and T was acquiring some big shit. But I don't know. Verizon just is a strong player right now. I actually invested in Verizon long term, too. That's doing pretty good. All right. All right. Let's see. Somebody said. Pocket options is bullshit. Yes. Stop taking the easy way out. Now, options is not no fucking sports betting where you could do some prize picks type shit. That ain't how options work. All this pocket option and I'm buying stocks on cash app. Like, please stop doing bullshit and please start actually uh, listening to somebody who's experienced. Too many of you are, are trying to get the easiest, easiest route. And I'm telling you that does not exist in this world or this space. Option trading is not supposed to be easy. It is not supposed to be some... Uh, some fucking playground that you guys wanted to be so bad. And you know, you know us black people. Every time we get into some shit, we're trying to make it into some playground, into some uh some shortcut, some some bullshit instead of instead of just taking the time to learn it. You get what I'm saying? If you want to be a good podcaster, it doesn't just come natural. It's a strategy. You gotta have the right cameras, you gotta have the right audio, you gotta have the right mics. You got to have the right thumbnail. You got to have the right guest come on. It's a strategy to getting a guest. It's a strategy to every fucking thing you do. And until you learn that, you're going to keep taking the easy way out and thinking you could just simplify everything. And then you'll look at somebody with some simple shit like a DJ Academics who just streamed, but you forgot. He was, he was talking shit for the last 10 years. That's why his streaming is working. And then you got a guy like Case or not. He's acting a fucking clown. No, no offense, but... 
Do you want to? He, he's going to have to be a clown for the next 50 years to sustain his lifestyle. Eventually, it's going to take a mental toll on him. So what I'm saying is, yes, you could take the easy way out. You could take the easy route out. You could keep trying to bullshit throughout life, not read books, not take mentorship, not try to apply yourself, not study the game. But whatever you do is going to eventually backfire on you because you don't want to take the, the right way out, the, the, the long term way out. Where did the name Honey Drip come from? Honey Drip came from the fact that I was smart. I said I wanted a brand that resonates with um, something that could be versatile because I started with the name Aristotle Investments and what I realized is people put me into a box. So I said for the company that I want to name, I want it to be something that people can't box. So Honey Drip is about bees it could be and then the symbols i could use i could use a bee i could use a, a, a hexagon i could use a, a bear i could use honey i could use the spoon for the honey i could use a a, a hornet i could use whatever right because it's honey drip so whatever is synonymous with honey i could even use flowers so i realized i needed a i needed to be able to brand myself with something very versatile just in case I come out with a clothing brand for it, just in case I come out with something. Because if you come up with a name that's way too uh, niche based, right, it's too niche based, then if you want to create a, a company or a network, then it's going to be hard to because you already branded yourself as such. So I guess I made a mistake by calling myself Aristotle Investments. Because people only think I'm an investor, but really, I'm actually one of the best social media strategics out. Nobody has grown a social media as organic as I have. Everybody else kind of took the podcast route, the dick riding route, stuff like that. Like, I really built my shit. No dick riding shit. I straight up did mine. Nobody put my Instagram on the map. Most people clawing from another man's clout. All right, I'm going to go grab his clout and now my Instagram lit. I'm going to go grab. So who can grow this shit better than I can? Nobody. Number two, business. I'm actually one of the best business growers on in, in the entrepreneurship space. If we compare my numbers behind the scenes to most people's numbers, you'll see. But guess what? Nobody asked me for that advice. There's only There's been people who did and I got paid to help people grow their businesses. But I just don't market that because my name is Aristotle Investments. So I'm warning you, be careful what you call yourself at first. Create something very broad so you're not boxed in because people just don't want to hear the, the truth. It's the truth. I'm actually one of the best at growing businesses. I'm actually one of the best at marketing. I'm actually one of the best at all this shit. I'm telling you, nobody's better than me at this shit. But hey, keep taking advice from people who, who say they're better at growing social media, but haven't proven to grow their own social media. All right. Keep taking advice on marketing from people who haven't proven that they can market themselves. Why don't you change it then? Because I haven't figured out to what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm being honest with you. I'm, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it soon. I ain't going to lie to you. I got to change this shit. All right. Let me see. Was today a good day? Today is an excellent day. My mom is coming to my home in about 30 minutes. Um, you know, so I can't wait for that. I'm going to show her around my mansion. Um, today I took my wife out to lunch in the Corvette. What else I did? I made 120%. On a Boeing swing, and then I made seventy five percent on a Walmart swing, and then uh, it's a lot of shit. Let me show y'all. Let me go to. Uh, let me go here, and then we're gonna go to Cam Link One, and then we're going to go to the overlays. Actually, we can go here. We can go here, and then we can go here. All right, boom. So let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all how good today was. So um, this is my group chat. 
Honey Drip Network. We're going to go to Discord. So today was actually a great day. And I'm going to show you. All right. So this is my Discord. If you want to look in. And then here's the small account challenge. So today I did a uh, 100. Well, this week I did 120% on Boeing AMD, 114%. And if we go to the swing trades, and I and I had a negative fifty percent on Exxon, but uh, if we do the uh, the swing trade, we're actually killing it. Uh, Walmart, we're up seventy five percent. So here's where I call Walmart. And by the way, you might want to join this because I don't bullshit. I called Walmart right here, Walmart. So I give you my exact feels. You get what I'm saying? I let you know it's a long swing, and now Walmart is printing. And if you go right here, look at where we got in Walmart at this orange line. So remember this orange line here, folks. Remember this orange line. So here's where we got in Walmart. And if we go here and we type in WMT Walmart. Oops. How did that happen? Walmart. All right. Check me out. Now, we're going to bring up this green, this orange line again. This 200 MA. And here's where we entered Walmart. And here where it is now. Break and it's about to fill this gap. All right. And I told them it's going to fill this gap. So I'm not just anybody, baby. I'm the one, not the two. All right. And I even told them, look, potential gap fill. You see that gap right here? I told them that this this is a potential gap fill before it even happened. And, and then it's a, a, a inverse head and shoulders. So if we go right here, here's an inverse head and shoulders. All right, so I already, I've been told them about Walmart. And this is an inverse head and shoulders. First shoulder, head, right shoulder. And I gave them the whole play before it even happened. I screenshotted it, told them, hey, this is going to be an inverse head and shoulders. And if you look here, an inverse head and shoulders uh, breaks out here. See that? Here's the breakout, the neckline. So it keeps going. And look what Walmart did. I called this shit before it happened. All right. So, you know, I'm the one, not the two. And if you ain't in my chat, you missing out. And if you want to keep talking, if you want to if you want to keep seeing what I do, check it out. Small account challenge. B.A. We got in Boeing. And look, we and look, I show my gains 120 percent. And we and we got out. I tell you the exact contracts I get in AMD. Let me show you. And look, we were down on Boeing at first. So, look, I show my losses, too. I let them know, hey. We might be down, but do not get out. We were down a 37%, and then we were up. Uh, and look, I showed them the whole time. Look, 73%, 87%. And then I showed, and look, we got other guys showing plays, 120%. And look, let me show you my stats. Here's my stats. So stop playing with me. This is my stats. I play no games when it comes to signaling. And I, and I actually showed them the spreadsheet and my losses. All right? There's no game. These are just signals. These aren't my actual, you get what I'm saying, my accounts. So if we look here, long term, I be showing them stuff like this too. Like I showed them how I'm up 95K on Meta off something I signaled in this, in this part. So I don't just make the small money. I make the big money too. But I decided to focus on the small money because a lot of people saying, hey, Aristotle, you're leaving us behind. Yeah, you made 300K on leaps, but what about the little guys? None of us have money. So I said, you know what? I came up with the small account challenge. And here are my stats. You get what I'm saying? And this is just this year already. So I'm already like at an 80%, 75% win rate this year. Something like that. I think it's like an 80%. But that's usually my stat line. So like I said, I'm the fucking one, not the two. And, you know, I don't care who you name, especially in the black space. I'm the best investor out right now when it comes, especially in the black space. I don't care what podcast they represent or what they doing. They ain't fucking with me when it comes to these signals. All right. When it comes to telling you how to get this money fast and long, I do it both. It's pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm the best at it right now. All right. So make sure you tap in if you want to get this money, because if not, you're missing out. Let's see what we got. You look just like Megan Fox. I have no idea what that means. But you probably need to, uh, 
you probably need to go seek help because that is a white girl who was on Transformers. So yeah, go seek help. Can I get access to the Discord? Yes, link in my link in the description on YouTube and comment trial if you want to try it out for 35 days. Now let me tell you what comes with the trial. You have a beginner's course that comes with the trial. So let me show y'all where to go when y'all when y'all get into the chat. So for everybody who's not confused who actually wants to make money, here's where you go when you get into the chat. So before you even get here to take my signals, learn first. Come here, go to read first, okay? Come here to read first, take the course, all right? Go to one, step one, learn the basics. Step two, pay attention to the morning watch list and webinars. Step three, uh, attend the live trade in Zoom via Discord. Step four, utilize the copy and paste text signals, all right? Step five, attend the pop-up classes. And step six, get mentored. So you could so you can follow step one. So this is the six step process. As soon as you get in the chat, go to read first, follow that six step process, and I promise you this will fast track you on to trading. All right. If not, then you're you're pretty much effed. If you want to learn fast, come in my chat. Oops, you guys didn't see that part on uh YouTube Live. My fault. Let me go back. Let me show y'all again. So on YouTube Live. Um, right here on YouTube live one more time. Step one, learn the basics. Step two, uh, pay attention to the morning webinars. Step three, attend the live trading zooms. Step four is to, uh, take the signals. All right. So that, so I have a, a step, a six step process to fast track anybody comment trial. If you're interested, all right, it's $35 and it's just an investment and for all you like, well, $35 is too much aristotle then you don't want to be rich how the fuck that's another thing too people will literally complain and i'm and my prices are the discount you're never and then they'll be like well i want to get rich if you can't invest 35 dollars into yourself then why are you talking to me about 100k 10k all these different k's get the fuck get the k out your damn brain you're going to be a broke motherfucker for the rest of your life if 35 dollars is a steep price for you all right. Don't don't mention OK to me. Don't mention no millions to me if you can't even invest something simple like this. Now, if you're on YouTube, you have to click the link in the description or visit honeydripnetwork.com. If you on uh, Instagram, you got to comment the word trial. But people be mentioning K's to me talking about some thirty five dollars and one hundred and twenty five. They can't invest in themselves. Get the fuck out of here. Go be broke. Get the fuck on. You make them way more than 35. Yes, of course. If you would have gotten my bowling play today, and for all of you, like, well, I make that 35 back. Motherfucker, yes. Look, check me out. Here's another thing. You're in my chat for free. This 35 is just to pay for my time. It's just a small fee to pay for my time. If you would have just gotten in one contract of bowling, you would have made literally all of your money back. 121% right here. You would have made 10 times your money back with just one contract. And all we did was invest about, I think, like $250, something like that. So just one contract would have made all of your money back. So when you join my chat, just realize you're in for free. You're going to make it right back. You're just paying for my time because you're not supposed to get my services for free. Okay? So don't think you're just paying me and, and that's it. No, you're actually jugging me. You're getting, you're paying 35 to go make 300. So I'm giving you your ROI. I'm not the winner. You're the winner. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of people think I'm getting over it on them by them investing in me. No, I'm going to help you get money. You get what I'm saying? Like you're, you're literally in this shit for free. So tapping in, if not, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but it's, it's free. Literally, it's just $35 and that's essentially free being in my shit. Do you swing trade? Yes. What is the best broker to use in the U.S.? Think or swim, in my opinion. Think or swim. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what they're telling you. I be trading in Mexico. I've traded in uh, everywhere. Uh, think or swim is just the best shit ever. I have that on my laptop. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would say Webull would be the second best. But Thinkorswim is the best. All right. 
I'm ready to make the change, bro. Well, click the link in the description and sign up, okay? I use Robinhood. That's cool, but Robinhood isn't good for day trading options, all right? Let's keep going, folks. Let's uh, talk about some more shit. How do you get a mentor, step six? All right, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Somebody asked, how do I get a mentor on, on IG Live on step six? So if you want to get mentored, you have to go to honeydripnetwork.com. All right, so let's, let's start over. Google Honey Drip Network, and then, or type in honeydripnetwork.com, okay? Then you go here. And then you come right here, live mentorship program, okay? And then you go to more info, and then boom, here's what you'll learn from us, okay? And then here's how it works. You get four weeks. Oops, let me go on uh, YouTube live, my fault. Let me go back. I keep doing this. One more time. You go to honeydripnetwork.com or Google Honey Drip Network, okay? And then you come here. And if you want to get mentored by me and you actually want to learn how to signal your own plays. So if you don't want to, uh, for the people who want to actually trade by themselves and don't want to be dependent on me forever, come here to mentorship. And I'll teach you how to call your own plays and everything. All right. And then here's what we'll be teaching you. And then it works like this. Four weeks of live trading and then one week of Q&A, three sessions. 30 days live trading with our chat, and then profitable trader. That's how it works. Step one, four weeks of training, two classes per week, eight classes, okay? And then one week of Q&A, three sessions, okay? And there's a Q&A session after each lesson, by the way. So you actually get 11 Q&A sessions, plus 30 days live trading to watch the charts, just so you can see how to actually apply the stuff that we taught, and then you're a profitable trader from there, okay? That's how it works. And then here we go. And then here it goes. One time fee of uh, one thousand. It's one thousand dollars. But you got to think everything you pay me is an investment. You're paying me for a one thousand for. So for everybody like, oh shit, here you go again with that price. A thousand dollars for a lifetime, a lifetime of information. I should be charging you ten, just to be, just to be all the way fair. I'm giving, this is something you're going to be able to teach your kids. This is something you're going to be able to teach a, your daughter, everything for you. And it's going to make you possibly hundreds of thousands over your lifetime. The shit that I know, you get what I'm saying? The trading strategies that I use, all I'm doing, look, how do you think I'm calling this shit? You think, you think too, this shit right here just come easy, this spreadsheet. The stuff that I'm the the reason I'm the reason I'm able to do this is because I'm gonna tell you how. If you want, who wants to know how I'm able to have these stats right here? Okay. Okay. Here's how I'm able to have these stats. It's because I'm using something. I have a system, and it's right here. If we go to the beginners learning center right here, so right here in my chat. If you when you join my chat, come here to the beginners learning center. All right. So I have plenty of training here. But let's go to how to be a profitable trader. So look, look at all these for everybody like, oh, I got the best world class training. I have so much training, by the way. I have beginners learning center. I have everything you need to be a successful trader in this beginners learning center. And then right here at the library, which I got to move up, you know, I got to move this up now. I'm going to just go ahead and move this shit up. Sync permissions. Let me move this shit up. Where is this? All right, let me see. Let me move this all the way up. We gotta make some some goddamn changes. All right, here we go. Boom. All right. So we got now we got the library up here. So everything is right here. Okay. So now we got the library. So library, I have free books. See this? The books that I read to get. So it, even if you don't want to read my books, I have Candlestick for Dummies, uh, Swing Trader for Dummies, all of these different materials. And I even have the books that I wrote a long time ago in here. Okay? 
I even have how to grow your social media book. Uh, we'll talk. We'll we'll see that next time. Let's see. Here we go. So look, if you want to learn how to grow your social media, I actually wrote a book on it, and it's and the link is in my bio. But yes, see, look, I teach you how to grow a business and how to create business ideas. Okay, so I got all of that. I even got shit that you know stuff just for my people. So look, I got all of this too. So right here, let's go to the part where I'm teaching you guys how to uh, actually. Um, and then we got video training. We got lots of video training, lots of it. So I have the world's class training. Then we got uh, actual Zoom classes. See that? So let me show y'all uh, the Beginner's Learning Center, how to become a profitable trader. So if you go to the Beginner's Learning Center, I have a system. So how I'm able to do this is I practice good risk management. I, I use what is called high probability setups, okay? So if you actually want to learn my high probability setups, that's where you go in and buy what is called the mentorship. So if you want to learn all of my high probability setups, which I have no problem sharing, but it costs 1000 period, all right? Somebody said, I got it for 700 last year, a steal, man. See? So, so there's already people who bought it, him right here. Dylan Chillin said he bought it for 700 last year. So yes, the price is now 1000 If you're scared to lose money, don't trade. That's another thing, too. People don't want to take no risk, and they don't want to apply themselves. Okay? You got to. Oof, it's getting hot in here. Let's see what else question we got. Are you still doing the small account challenge? Yes, I'm still doing the small account challenge. I will not stop doing the small account challenge. I will not that for for some reason that's very popular in my chat requested that I never stop doing it. So if you have a little bit of money, I play to the big players and the small players. I go for the people who are trying to make 100 racks and I go for the people who are trying to make 10 or 5 racks. Or, or two racks, or, or $200, or $100. We play from the smallest to the top inside of Honey Drip. So, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Somebody said, in your opinion, what's the fastest way to make 10K? Uh, a business, period. That's the fastest way to make 10K. Uh, I'm going to tell, tell you the truth of what I think is the fastest way to make 10K. Uh, well, the fastest way I made 10K was barbering, of course. Now, that took about three months. I was making 3K a month barbering. And then, you know, on a good month, I would make like 3500 So for me, barbering, having a job on the side, and then I was making 3K a month barbering and save 100% of my barber money, lived off my job money. So that was the first time I made my 10K. My first 10K actually came from barbering. Now, my uh my second 10k I ever made came from investing, trading uh options, right? And if you don't believe me, I got the fucking facts, okay? So I'm gonna show you. So if you don't believe me that my first 10k came from uh trading, let's let's talk about it. All right. So let's go here, present, and let me show you. So this was a minute ago. Where is it? Right here. Look. This was me. This was barber money. And this was uh, the money that I made. I put in 3K. And then I turned it into uh, 12K. Okay. So my my second 10K. I, this was my first 10,000 I ever made. And that was off. And look, that's my name. So you can't say, oh, that's just money on the floor. This was back in 2017. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I uh, actually... Um, put my money on the floor like this and spelled out my name because can't nobody say, oh, that ain't you. That ain't your money. Motherfucker, no, you can't. That's me. You get what I'm saying? And that's my legs. That's my uh, N7Js. And if you want to know what Js these are, these are exclusives. Now, I'll tell you what Js these are too. But anyways, yes, this was back in the day on my Robinhood account. 
I've been doing this for a long time. This is a screenshot from back in 2017. Okay, this is my first 10K I ever made. This is the this is my second 10K I ever made. So I made 10K doing a lot of shit. Okay. I just this was back in 2017 though. You get what I'm saying? Before, before people, before it was popular to be a social media influencer. By the way, it wasn't popular to trade options back in this day. I made this shit popular. If you want to know who really made this shit popular, it's me. If I'm being all the way completely transparent and honest, all the way facts, I really popularized this shit. I was the first nigga to turn, to turn from barber to investor. And then every, I'm telling you, had the group chat, all that. And this is real screenshots from my old Robinhood account. As you can see right here. And look, it look, but I, everybody starts somewhere. At one point in time, I was making $200 in a week. And I was happy with that. And then w one point in time, I made $500 in a month. And I was happy. And then one point in time, I made $4,000 in a month. And that was more than the army paid me. And then, you know, it just started with days I'm making, what, $700 a day? And then soon I start making $1,700 in a day. So look how that transferred. This is a proof that you could do anything you put your mind to it. I used to be happy with just $200. Then I started, you know, leveling up fast, learning, and applying that shit. So this is back in 2017. I made my first uh, 2000 in one day when I was 21 years old. And it was off options. And after that day, I've never looked back. I said to myself, I am going to be an investor and I'll never turn back. Okay? Don't call yourself the N-word. I am, I am a nigga. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't care about all that bullshit. That's all that uh offensive. Um, that's a middle class, that's middle class talk. I'm rich. I, I'm a nigga, man. I don't care about all that. I don't I don't play by the rules of you you uh people who just just fucking listen to everything everybody else say. I play by my own rules. All right. I don't I don't I don't play by nobody rules but my own. Super arrogant. I really am. And I and I'm fine with that. I would rather listen to me than any one of you niggas. So yes, I am arrogant. How did you scale your first 100k to a M? Um saving it for one and not and not uh and not blowing it. Okay? So when I made my first 100k, I'm gonna tell you how I fast tracked my first way, my uh my way to 100k. So first I was barbering and I was cutting and I was um and I was in the army. So it was four streams of income that I had. So let's count it up, folks. I had investing. So you saw that I made four thousand in one month. If we look here, um, in one month I made four thousand. So I was making about four k a month investing. I was making four k a month uh, from the army, and I was making three k a month from barbering. So let's add that up, folks. Four k, four k. That's eight. Three k. That's eleven. And then I wrote a book, and I was making about like 4K, 5K a month off that, right? So I had four streams of income. That's how I was able to fast track myself to getting money. So before I ever started a chat, before I ever did anything, I was already balling. I was already balling. I was already making like 20, 25K a month before I ever started a group chat, right? So I, I'm just a hustling ass dude. I'm a different breed. You looking at him. You're not looking at... uh. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're not just looking at anybody. You know how you go to all these little niggas and they, and they little uh, shit? That, that's, he not him. You get what I'm saying? Like, he, he on somebody else's platform. He hasn't built his shit. He hasn't been hustling for real. He can't show no proof of hustling from back in the day. None of that shit. I'm a real hustler. I was in the army. I was barbering. I was cutting hair. And I had a book. And there's proof. You get what I'm saying? I have proof of who I say I am. So I'm him. So I was making 20, 25K before I ever started my business. You get what I'm saying? I didn't just have, I was just a hustler. So my first 100K came in like, save came in like maybe like four or five months because I wasn't playing. I snapped. 
I learned that multiple streams of income that work is how you get rich fast. So you see what I was doing, folks? I was in the army. I was barbering. I was trading and I was cutting hair. I had four streams of income. Real stream. This ain't no bullshit. Like, if you don't believe me, let's take a look, folks. Um, Right here. So if you don't believe that I was cutting hair, there's proof of who I say I am. That is me. That is me cutting a white man's head. That's Beard. That's my homie Beard. He was in the army. That's my homie. Uh, I forgot his last name, but I was cutting his hair. And then look, this is other. This is me. I self-taught myself how to barber at 18 years old. OK, I was really in the army. I used to really be an IT specialist in the army. OK, I used to really work at Walmart, Kroger, Dillon's, and I worked at a daycare. So I'm a, so this is somebody who really started from the bottom. A lot of niggas can't say that uh, they got put on this and that. So, yeah, I hold my head high and say I'm him. Because I know I'm him. I know I'm the greatest hustler of all fucking time. Who else got the story like I got? Who else worked at McDonald's, Walmart, Kroger, daycare, and then started and then joined the army, and then started cutting hair, and then started investing his barber money, and then flipped his, his barber money into real, I literally put this into the Robin Hood account, flipped that shit, and then now I got four streams of income, and now I'm rich. Fuck out of here. I'm him. You get what I'm saying? So when people be like, why he so arrogant? Why he did? Because I know what the fuck I went through. I know I did six years in the army. I know I really self-taught myself how to invest. I know I really was a barber. I know I really got now had four streams of income, making 20K a month at, at 21 years old. That was me. All right. So I really, I really do this shit. I'm really him. And you looking at the greatest hustler of all fucking time. And you show me some and you show me somebody else who did this shit. And if I show you my numbers from business, you'll be like, bro, I ain't playing. You are not arrogant. These are just haters. Oh nah. I don't think I don't I don't think I'm arrogant. I think I really went I really put in work. You get what I'm saying? I really put in work. I'm on the path. So what I'm telling you guys is follow what I did. Get you one. So I'm, but the reason why I tell you guys so much game because I'm not threatened by you. See, I'm a real hustler. You get what I'm saying? I know. I'm going to be honest with you. This, some, this is not some cocky, funny shit. I don't believe not one of you can out hustle me. And that's a good thing because I'm able to tell you information because I'm not threatened by you. See, other people are threatened by you. So he's not going to tell you the information because he's afraid you'll catch up. I don't believe none of you motherfuckers out hustle me. I just showed you what I did. I know where the fuck I came from. I did this shit by myself. So if I go back to this screen one more time, here's why I'm able to tell you guys information. Because I really came from the bottom. You get what I'm saying? Look, I really did this shit. So why, so why should I be scared to tell you some shit when I know where I came from? I came from working at McDonald's and Walmart. The fuck I'm threatened by you for? I built my own shit, taught myself how to invest my own money. I came from making that type of money in Robin Hood to this type of money and, and having these type of days. So no, I'm not afraid to tell you information. No, I'm not hiding information from you because I real life believe you can't fuck with me. So why should I care? See, a person who you wouldn't want to be teaching somebody teaching you and they scared of you. That's why a lot of these niggas don't tell no information. They scared you'll catch up. I ain't scared you'll catch up to me. Try it. You get what I'm saying? I dare you. And I and look, the moment I feel you competition, I, if I hear them footsteps, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to run faster than you. That's how I rock. I actually want you to try to, to compete with me, to try to learn from, from my mistakes so you can give me something to do. I'm bored. I want somebody to try to, try to knock me off my square. Let's do it. I'm with this shit. I served six years in the Army. I'm from Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta. Ain't shit I ain't seen. I done traveled the world. Try it. I give you I give you all the game, and I want to see if you can outread me, out-hustle me, wake up earlier than me, do this shit every day like I can. I want you to try it. So...
So no, this is why I give you guys game. If you want to know why I, I can get on this shit and answer every financial literacy question, because I am not threatened by you. I am not scared of you. I am not scared. You will overthrow me. I know you can't. But I'm willing to let you try. You have any tutorials? Yes, I do. Go to honeydripnetwork.com. All right. They said that Tito's hitting. This is Aquapana. Thank you very much. I don't drink liquor. Let's see what else we got. Are you currently buying long-term options? No, I'm not. I am not. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, I am. But and if you want to find out which ones I'm buying, actually, I'm actually about to buy two leaps tomorrow. I should have bought Apple leaps. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But yes, I'm actually about to buy like three leaps. So for all of you who like Aristotle, I missed out on the time you made all this money. So if you missed out on this, this 400K, 300K uh, year, then you might want to press trial because I'm about to add in some more shit pretty soon, okay? This ad, I'm actually about to call them tomorrow. So I got like three new leaps that I'm about to add to this portfolio and to another portfolio. So if you want to get in now, you might want to uh, comment trial on Instagram or if you're, uh, and let me show you where I'm going to call these leaps. Where did I get that from? Profile. Let me see. Scene. There we go. Show scene windows. Ha ha. I figured it out. All right. Let me go back here. And then let me show you something real quick. Let me show you where I call in these leaps. So if you want to know where I call these leaps and where I'm about to call them, if you go in my group chat and you go right here. So if you join my group chat, I'm going to show you where I'm going to call these plays. All right, that made me 400,000. I'm going to call them here. So look, if you want proof that I called these a long time ago, all we got to do is scroll up, folks. All right. See, look, I'm showing gains as I do. See, look, that's that same account. I'm showing it as it goes by. That's that same account, 100 up 100%. So I, I turn, I flip that account right in front of your eyes. And look, I'm showing gains. See, look, same thing. As you can see, this this account gonna keep going down. See that? So I'm gonna show you. Look, I called these a long time ago, right here. Here's where I called these. I I made this 400 400k off this. I said I started a leap account. This was 928 2022. So now I'm about to call some more. Like right now, and look, if you would have got in at the same time as me, you look. Nvidia is now up 140 racks. And I was at one point in time negative zero. Meta is up 95k. The same meta, 155 calls, right? The same one. So if we go down, all the way down, you'll see that same meta. I'm up 95 racks to this day. Here we go, right here. Meta, well, we at the 120 calls now. Cause I think I exited those and, and made some more, but yeah, I bought some more meta. And I'm up a lot on that shit. But I call everything there in the long term. I'm about to call some more, as a matter of fact. So if you on Instagram, comment trial. If you're on uh, YouTube, uh, do that. But anyways, I think my mom is about to show up. So uh, let me let me get off this, and I'm going to give her a house tour of my actual home. But God bless everybody. This is right at the hour mark too. God bless everybody. Tap in. I hope you enjoy this rant. I love ranting. And, and I do this for uh, content purposes, not because I'm some angry guy. I just like engagement. And the only and one thing I learned is if you go to yelling, people will stay tuned. But if you just sit here and talk all salt and everything, motherfuckers going to click off and go do something else. So if you want to know why I rent, 
is to keep you motherfuckers on this goddamn live, all right? So I just go on this motherfucker like, blah, 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 because, you know, it's engagement, and I want you to stay. God bless all of you, and I taught you a gym. Rent. Don't get on your fucking IG live talking soft and this and that. They're going to click off. You try to be all professional and this and that, they're going to do something else. So I go on this motherfucker just talking shit, flexing, talking my shit, and I ain't going to lie, I pissed off a lot of entrepreneurs and shit, but I don't give a fuck. They don't fuck with me anyways. Motherfuckers be hating on me. Fuck them niggas. Anyway, let's get it. God bless y'all and uh, get some money.